Hello guys, it's Team here. Today, we are going to go on an adventure to find out the claims that we have been hearing about the cave located inside the temple here in the province of Chumpon. This particular temple is a home to an interesting cave where the people in the area believe that King Asoka, the Great of India, or Emperor Asoka, who fought many wars in the 255 BCE and later got tired of fighting and hunting animals and then embraced Buddhism. Buddhism was spread to many countries including Thailand and this temple is believed to have evidence of him leaving treasures or Buddha statues. So guys, is this true or is it just a story? So let's find out together. Let's go. So we are taking the countryside route out to the Pechakasem uh, highway, you know, the main highway. And then we're just gonna enjoy the beauty of this countryside, you know, the vibe, the feeling, the sense of freedom, and you know, and plus this is what I love the most about riding a bike in Thailand, is that sometimes you never know what you're gonna find along the way. Well, except, you know, the street dogs trying to cross the road and cause an accident. <laughs> Okay guys, we are entering Bapa sub-district. It's a small town, very very small town. It's actually a farm town, pretty close to um, a Thai-Burmese border, maybe about um, another 20 kilometers from, from this uh, uh, small town. Uh, you know, it's it's known to be the home of many historical sites, this, uh, this area. And the cave and the temple are just up ahead. Okay guys, we are here at Wat Tejeren. Well, um, Tejeren is the name of the temple, but uh, the cave is Tam Rap Ro. Uh, it's located in Rap Ro district, well, sub-district in Chumpon. Um, this temple is about uh, 20 minutes away from Chumpon uh, city, from the city, so um, not very far. A little bit cloudy today, but uh, but when I was riding here, there was no rain, so, but I hope it doesn't rain today. But anyway, um, what they have to learn, like I said in, uh, earlier in the video, that um, this place has long history. But I'm gonna tell you the history a little bit later. But before that, we're gonna check out the map of this cave. So basically, this, this cave has the total of eight caves well three big ones and and five more smaller caves so sub caves so um let right now let's see the map right now we are here i think we are here 
okay one two three so we have three big ones and we have one two three four five six uh about eight eight total um uh the caves that people can have access to you know but um other than that uh they're not allowed to go because it's very dangerous so um but big ones three big ones so we are here we're gonna check out this one and then check out this one and this one so you can't walk to um to the next one you have to come out and go to the next one uh, anyway but before we we go we're gonna go check out um the first one the first one is not here we're gonna go to the other side um so the first one the first one is well has a lot of buddhas a lot of uh buddha statues so um we're gonna go check it out okay so we have the museum uh this is the museum of the, the temple that shows you the evidence of of um ancient objects or the historical um, ancient potteries or you know that kind of stuff um, but yeah it's pretty beautiful see the cape up there um, it's a little bit cloudy I hope the inside the caves it's not too dark so um, let's see very beautiful so over here we're going to go up here. So this one is the first one. The first one. Well, the second, uh, actually the first one, well, same thing anyway, because you can go up, up there and come down here. So one, two, and the one that I just, um, the, the one near the map is three. So three entrances. So pretty dark up there, guys. What do you think? But anyway, um, here goes nothing. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I can do it. Dear is not here today because she is teaching, and because I just finished the school, I have a lot of times to kill, so I can do the videos. Um, but anyway, um, well, for me anyway, before you go to like places like this, before you enter, before you do anything. Uh, I usually would pray or ask the, uh, the the gods or you know ask the place you know permission to do the video that's that's the way I I, I do it uh, you know so you can have so you can succeed in what whatever you do okay pretty tiring but we are here, the first one, the first cave. Uh, so the first cave has a lot of uh, Buddha statues. Usually during the, the religious events, they will turn on the lights. But um, I'm here on Monday, so no lights because not many people here. Not many people, but usually it's packed with people the locals because this place is has a long history like I said before long history why we're gonna start with this place so the Buddha's statues you see here uh, there are three brothers three brothers um, so each of each one has the names but the names in uh, uh, Sanskrit so I can't remember the name all the names but um, as you can see, um, we have regular Buddhas and the three kings. So the kings has, all the three kings, each king has, uh, what, what is it called, like the, uh, the hat. So each king, well, the three kings have somewhat, um, what we call it the Sivajaya, Sivajaya influence. So it's the old kingdom, Sivajaya. I'm gonna put the, the name on the video. Sivajaya Kingdom so influence you can see they have um, the hats I don't know what it's called in English but so three kings Buddhas and some pretty ancient um, Buddha statues but it's 
kind of it's pretty dark in here. Um, in the caves, usually there there are bats, so I'm not gonna go go in there right now <laughs> because um, there are bats everywhere. So uh, so the three kings and the one inside. I don't know if you can see it. The one inside is the um, we call it the, uh, the, the well the pillar shrine. The, the pillar, the city pillar shrine. Well, it's not a, a, a pillar, but uh, they see uh, this uh, this Buddha as the shrine, as the pillar, where uh, the old kingdom, the Utumpan city. Um, actually, it's the um, Chumpan former's name, former Chumpan's name, uh, Utumpan. Uh, the old name of Chumpan City. So uh, this is where uh, the, the villagers or the people believe uh, where the, the city center started. So so it's now called Chumpan. But before, Utumpan. So the old ancient city. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna go to this part. This part has bats. This part has bats and beautiful stalactites and stalagmites. Uh, as you can see, pretty beautiful, very, very beautiful. Um, so about the claims, about the claims I said earlier that uh, whether or not they have, this place has treasures. Um, but you can already tell, you know, the, the, the old Buddhas uh, the ancient Buddhas can be, you know, the treasure. But uh, this place has history. I did some, I did some research and talked to uh, some villagers and the people here that this place is believed to have treasures because back in the day when when uh, Utumpan City was building, um, a lot of villagers back in the day. Uh, donated the money to have this place built uh, to help this place um, so so people the rumors at, at least the rumors was going around you know okay this place has um, treasures because the, um, the donation was was you know was a lot of money right the donation so they they believe that the, um, the donation money the gold the everything's still here so Pretty good if you can see the bats up there. A lot of bats. So guys, this this uh, part of the cave is called Tamsai. Um, the, there are some writings. Well, it says, according to the evidence and the story that has been passed on generation to generation uh, by the villagers, this cave is believed to be the cave of. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Not some not Kong, don't I? Maybe the the higher higher officials. Uh, high-ranking officials uh, caves uh, it is built to you know to be the place where people can meditate uh, to meditate you can come and meditate here um, actually there's a there's a, pl a path you can walk up but you know no lights I'm not gonna risk myself <laughs> But if you come, you can do it at your own risk. <laughs> uh, but it's beautiful. When there are lights, it's beautiful. But anyway, uh, we're going to go to uh, back to the uh, Buddha statue part. Because I saw some people walking this way, so I'm going to... So I have friends now. I'm not afraid anymore, so I have friends. Uh,
Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk you guys uh, to the next one. So we we we've been to two already. So um, do you believe they have treasures from the old time? I don't think so. But after talking to several people, like I said before, after talking to several people, the villagers and the monks, and the claims that the, there are treasures here, gold, money, or the old silverwares, uh, potteries. So those are the, the only things that are here inside the temple. But there's no such thing as uh, treasure like uh, back in, in the old day so uh, so we recovered two uh, Tom side the uh, stalic stalic tights and stalic mites uh, part and the, the place the cave that has a lot of Buddha statues we can go to the, another one where they have beautiful uh, stones beautiful stones and the cave wall painting the cave wall painting I think you're gonna enjoy that if it's dark I'm gonna put some pictures if you can't see it I'm gonna put some pictures but I believe you can see a little bit but let's go see anyway okay we're back at the uh, the first place we came where we where we saw the map so um, this place looks like it hasn't been taken care of for a long time you know like uh, we have twigs and leaves everywhere but when I saw the video of this place uh, uh, this morning it was beautiful I don't know when that was but uh, as of now as you can see the current state it's not very pleasant uh, but I think they should renovate this, pla this place, clean this place up a little bit. So uh, guys, up here we have uh, the stones uh, and cave wall painting. But if it's dark, I don't think you guys can see it, but I'm going to put some pictures later. A lot of mosquitoes too, guys. A lot of mosquitoes too. <laughs> uh, so uh, this one is called Ai Te. Ai te in Thai means, well, Ai in Isan language. Ai in Isan language means brother, right? Te is believed to be the name of uh, the so called monk in the painting. Uh, you see a monk, a, pa uh, uh, a painting, the monk painting, painted on the cave wall. But, but it looks like it's pretty dark in here, guys. I don't know if you can turn on the light over here. But uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, damage the uh, public property. But it's pretty dark. So this one is called Ai Te Cave. Uh, each cave has uh, names. But this one, another sub cave, you can, well, normal time you could, during the normal time you could. Uh, wear proper shoes and climb up here you can get access to another cave uh, if you want to test your stamina <laughs> but anyway it's pretty dark inside guys I don't think I'm gonna uh, even, even if I walk in there you're not gonna see anything so um, I'm gonna put the, some pictures but look at that uh, stalactites, stalagmites pretty beautiful very very beautiful the beauty of nature right the beauty of nature but um, if you walk down there because you, there's a path you could walk um, when there's a festival or religious event you can walk down to the uh, the chamber the cave chamber the big one uh, where you could see another Buddha statue very beautiful um, and I believe the ca uh, cave wall paint painting is down there too, so uh, But we can't get go down there right now But let's walk over here a little bit uh, Yeah, 
I need the lights. That's 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 impossible. That's not gonna do it for me. But uh, we have this side. Very beautiful curve, huh? Mm. Beautiful. So um, uh, about the Aite, uh, the, the, the monk that's in the painting, uh, there's a story about him that, um, like, you know, as I said, uh, treasures, uh, potteries, very valuable potteries, drums, the old drums for uh, ceremony back in the day, and, uh, you know, all the important stuff, you know. Um, he's supposed to be the one who who look after all, all the you know, important things. I think, I mean, uh, the, 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 the monk in the painting. Oh, look at that. Over there is the village, um, Rapra area. This, this area is called Rapra. In Tha Sat district, Chumpon. You guys should uh, check it out. During the normal time, it's beautiful. That's all I gotta say. Uh, but uh, I don't know why nobody looks after it. Uh, they're kind of unfortunate. Well, the site says open from Monday to Friday from 9 to 4.30. But if you open, then why don't you turn on the lights, you know, for the visitors? Beautiful, huh? Yeah, very beautiful. So yeah, Ai Te Cave, the name. Um, yeah. The person, the monk, who the villagers believe uh, that he was the one who looked after the treasures. I mean, all the stuff that 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 uh, that was left here a long time ago. So uh, yeah, I they. But this this place is known to be well, not just not just this place, not just the cave. This area, I would say, is known to be the historical area in Chumpon, at least one of them anyway, one of the historical areas in Chumpon. So uh, there are more places like this throughout Thailand, but um, I need to start exploring more uh, all these uh, unexplored places. That's what we do anyway, right? Explore the unexplored. So. Uh, but I will leave the details, more details about uh, the whole thing in the description so you guys can read a little bit about it. Um, you know, the King Ahsoka, uh, the Three Kings um, statue, Sivijaya, Sivijaya uh, era, the period, the kingdom, right? Uh, the influence it has on um, Buddhism. So, I mean, you can check it out later about the uh, Sivajaya Kingdom. Uh, I'm gonna put the names and everything in the description anyway, so you guys can check it out. So here's another post box, uh, the Merit Post Box. Uh, <laughs> You could you could see this kind of stuff everywhere in Thailand. In Chum, uh, I mean, not only Chumpon, everywhere in Thailand, the, the temple. You could make merit and send send letters full of money, uh, needs, everything to your loved one who have passed away. So, so um, this respected abbot, I think, uh, the the high ranking monk, and his body up there. His name his name was uh, Sai. S A I, 
So you see his body up there, no sign, show no sign of uh, decay. So uh, you know what that means. He become uh, enlightened. So his body is like that, in that state. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of today's video episode of treasure hunting. Uh, to summarize today's adventure, there's no such thing as uh, treasure or, or valuable gems and all that. Well, it is valuable, right? Uh, um, we, have, we only have ancient objects, potteries and that kind of stuff. So that could be treasures. So, so where are we going to go next on our uh, next adventure? Please uh, stay tuned and please like, share and subscribe. Uh, that would help support the, the channel a lot. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.